Netsch was founded in 1873 by brothers Thomas and Christian Netsch in Selb, Germany, and has become a worldwide manufacturer of industrial wet and dry grinding equipment. Netsch Premier Technologies, which has been based in Exton, Pennsylvania since 1969, is the North American Grinding and Dispersing Business Unit, part of the globally operated group of Netsch companies. In addition to the grinding and dispersing business unit, Netsch's other two business units are analyzing and testing and pumps and systems. Netsch Premier Technologies provides a diverse product line of wet and dry grinding systems that enable our customers to produce particles in the nano range. Applications for nano sized particles include alternative energies, technical ceramics, high performance coatings, agricultural chemicals, and of course, pharmaceuticals. Netsch, your partner for wet grinding and dispersing needs and for your dry grinding applications. The application of the Delavita series is utilized to enhance the performance of active pharmaceutical ingredients in orals, ocular, injectables, topicals, and also inhalants. In addition to these routes of administration, we also utilize the Delavita in manufacturing of recipients, APIs, and also diagnostics. Netsch Premier Technologies is located in Exton, Pennsylvania, and we are the worldwide pharmaceutical competency center for the Netsch Grinding and Dispersion Division. In addition to testing services and process development and building of the equipment, we also offer complete validation services, including the writing of functional specifications, software and hardware design specifications, the FAT, as well as IQOQ. The pharmaceutical requires nano suspensions of APIs to help enhance the performance of these drug compounds. Um, by reducing particle size, we ultimately increase the surface area of these compounds and also um, allow for um, solubility of these compounds in a, in a water solution. The known benefits of reducing APIs to nanoparticles is increased dissolution rate, increased bioavailability, and as well as increased efficacy. Grinding active pharmaceutical ingredients to nano size offers many exciting advantages. Since 1995, more than 90% of drugs approved have poor solubility, poor permeability, or both. The performance of these drugs can be improved by reducing the particle size and at the same time increasing the specific surface area of these active pharmaceutical ingredients. However, an API is administered, nano-sized particles offer exciting advantages for pharmaceuticals. Known benefits include improved distillation rate, increased bioavailability, quicker onset of action, and higher efficacy, potentially leading to lower dosages and lower risk of side effects to the patient. Almost half of new chemical entities referred to as NCEs, are impaired by poor water solubility. Many of these potential effective NCEs are abandoned in the discovery because they are insoluble. Reducing particles nano size dramatically increases their surface area and substantially increasing the solubility and allowing these potentially abandoned NCEs to be further developed. The bead mill process uh, consists of a grinding chamber, a, an agitator that spins at a high velocity inside that grinding chamber, a separation system that actually separates the beads from the product and is also fed by a circulation pump. Normally the product is recirculated through the grinding mill a series of times back to a tank that has a stirring agitator in that tank. The, uh, the mill itself can be made of different materials of construction, including stainless steel, uh, ceramics, uh, uh, nylons, or other materials that are compatible with the formulations to be processed. The mill is filled with a percentage of beads, normally in the range of 75 to 95 percent of the chamber is filled with beads, 
and the beads can be made of anything from a low density glass, uh, poly polystyrene, uh, stainless steel, or high grades of ceramic such as a yttrium stabilized ceramic bead. We make decisions on the size of the bead and the type of bead based on the product characteristics such as viscosity, specific gravity, and particle size. So in a nutshell, that's a very basic description of a bead mill process. Rotate mill to vertical to fill grinding media to specified quantity for the process. Rotate mill to horizontal operating position. Charge material to be processed in circulation tank. The agitator rotates, imparting energy to the grinding beads. Cooling water dissipates the heat generated during the grinding process. Material enters the mill and flows in the direction of the outlet screen. The rotating agitator retains the grinding beads in the mill by centrifugal force. The product is finer and flows into the rotor to be discharged from the mill. The particle size distribution becomes finer over time. When the process is complete, cleaning fluid is introduced to the mill and flushes out all remaining product material. Rotate mill to the discharge position and the beads are collected in a container to be cleaned, sanitized and reused. The Delta Vita series for the laboratory use is the Delta Vita 15 to 300. This machine offers many advantages as it's the smallest unit that we make, um, allowing the products to be manufactured down to 50 milliliters. This machine is unique in that it's able to be converted from a 15 to a 50 to a 150 to a 300 milliliter machine. This is done all in the same machine frame, making it very universal from discovery scale up to preclinical testing. The Della Vita 600 is the pilot series which allows the operator to achieve particle size distribution for clinical testing. Batch sizes in this range is from one liter to approximately six liters in volume. This machine is fully scalable up to production size units as well as um, it does offer the ability for SIP and CIP. The production range for the Della Vita series, we offer five units. These units are sized from 2,000, 4,000, 10,000, 25,000, and 60,000 milliliter units. These units can be either put on one skid, which includes the pump, the controls, the, um, the bead mill itself, um, and this is, becomes a very um, portable unit. Other installations are more permanent, where we would install the bead mill through the process suite wall for a fixed mount installation. The Delta Vita series is designed in accordance with all guidelines of the Food and Drug Administration, good automated manufacturing practices, current good manufacturing practices, the biopharmaceutical engineering practices of the ASME, and all other FDA guidelines. Product weighted parts are fabricated from stainless steel, zirconium oxide, silicon carbide, silicon nitride, and other high-tech polymeric materials. Stainless steel surfaces are polished to a roughness average of 0.4 microns RA. Wherever possible, monoblock construction is used, eliminating any cracks, crevices, and seams that might be present where a product can accumulate. Potential problems are engineered out of the Delta Vita system on the drawing board, not fixed in the field. As far as cleaning and transition between products is, is concerned, cleaning in place CIP and sterilization in place SIP is employed in all Delta Vita machines on the production level. As for process control and process automation, Siemens and Allen Bradley systems are used 
and full process automation and menu driven process control is possible. Process temperature control is very important. All Delta Vita machines have cooling capability to maintain steady parameters of, of temperature and assure consistent product quality. The control and minimization of contamination is important when developing a pharmaceutical product with nanotechnology. Uh, the control of contamination is through the selection of the components, the chemistry, the wetting agents, and the surface finishes of the machine to contribute to the amount of contamination being developed in the process. So the process itself is actually critical in optimizing the process to control temperature, uh, thus uh, controlling the wear on the components is all a part of uh, the, the contributing factors to contamination. So control of, those, uh, of the level is possible and the selection of those components is critical to the level. So optimization uh, such as the amount of energy being added, the amount of cooling required, the balance of that, the selection of materials, all contribute to the optimization of the process and there's many variables that you can contribute and change uh, in the process and obtain that level of contamination that's acceptable and also uh, acceptable to the, um, the regulatory uh, organizations in terms of su you know, submitting the product for use as a pharmaceutical product. The question of scale up from the laboratory size up to a commercial size is a very good question. Uh, if you look at the mechanical design of each individual platform and the scale up across the mechanical aspects of the design, uh, the, me the machines are, are essentially designed identically. I think the uh, mechanical design took into account uh, scalability and then as you go up in size on the equipment, the uh, mechanical aspects of the process is actually identical. So as you go up in scale, all the way up to commercial size, which is the 60,000 unit, uh, the geometry is generally, generally or exactly the same uh, as the lab unit where you did your initial development. So when you go into commercial uh, levels, uh, really some of the most challenging questions about commercial level manufacturing, especially in pharmaceuticals, are not necessarily the milling or the milling uh, process itself, is actually uh, the commercial issues, which is uh, material additions, uh, the CIP, SIP, uh, sanitization, sterilization, conservation of energy, do you have enough energy to keep the process optimized because we earlier talked about contamination so as you scale up and optimizing those process variables at a commercial level is much more challenging than at obviously at a lab level. For real comminution of primary particles mainly pressure and impact forces are used which arise by collision of grinding media. Um, for that process, real comminution of primary particles, uh, we use very high stereotyp speeds in the Delta Vita mills. Um, the stereotyp speeds are in the range of 8 to 16 meters per second, and um, these uh, stereotyp speeds are adjusted according to the power uh, which is installed on the Delta Vita machines and the temperature requirements of the product. Last but not least, we have to optimize the diameter of the grinding media and the density of the grinding media um, according to the optimum of the stress energy of the grinding media. If we have to do just deagglomeration or deaggregation of particles from clusters of small primary particles, we have to change the operating parameters. The reason is that we have to prevent damages of the structure of particles. This means we just have to wet the surfaces of the particles and we just have to separate them from the clusters of particles and therefore shear forces, only shear forces are sufficient. Therefore the stereotype speeds of the um, agitator has to be reduced to smaller values in the range of 4 up to 8 meter per second. Now to get optimized conditions for a deagglomeration process usually we use the smallest grinding media 
which are suitable without uh, problems in um, separation of the grinding media from the suspension. And we choose the lowest stereo tip speed, which can be used um, with a very nice separation of the grinding media. If we have no success or not the best uh, grinding progress uh, with this very low um, stereo tip speed, with this very mild dispersion uh, parameters, we can increase the stereo tip speed later until we get damages of the structure. The particles become smaller and smaller and typically the particle size distribution becomes steeper. One process we use very often is the so-called circulation mode grinding operation. If we use the circulation mode grinding operation we can use very high support rates through the mill and therefore we get a very narrow residence time distribution of all particles inside the mill. These results in steeper particle size distributions too. Another advantage is that we can complete the grinding process if we obtained the desired particle size distribution and the desired particle size. Another advantage is that we get very beautiful cooling conditions in a circulation mode grinding operation. As a contract manufacturing company, custom processing services requires both high performance and flexibility. We've chosen to work with Netch Premier Technologies to install Netch mills that fulfill both our dry grinding and wet medium milling needs. The reliability and consistent results from the Netch mills and the ability to configure the equipment for a variety of applications have enabled our firm to excel in providing particle size reduction services. Netch, your partner for wet grinding and dispersing needs and for your dry grinding applications. For a demonstration of the Delta Vita product line, along with a tour of the Netch facilities in Exton, Pennsylvania, contact Stephen Miranda, North American Sales Director for Netch Premier Technologies. To learn more about the full range of Netch capabilities and services, visit our website 